What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, this is just an E91 328XI build. And if you're a returning subscriber, hello once again. So as you can see here, I am by my car and today is a day that I will be throwing on my big brake kit and I'm super happy about it. I'm gonna give you guys a once over of my car and how it looks. And it's just gonna be a little bit of a before and after. It's not really gonna be long because obviously you can see behind me, you can't see anything, you just see just my wheels. So let's get to it. So here she is, and this is the last time you'll see my baby brakes. So everything will be replaced as you can see here. There's not even a lip on these current ones or the brake pads because these are like basically brand new and uh, seeing no track days on it either. So everything again will be replaced is the rotors, the brake pads, and these tiny little nasty old brakes will be replaced as well and here is the final shot of her i'll show you everything what i have in my trunk i'll show you the last little ugly one in the rear as well so that one as well and i shouldn't have any clearance issues with the dust cover as well because people have done the swap on all-wheel drive cars and haven't had any issues it's only with the rear wheel drives for some odd reason but um I'll look further into that if you're wanting to do it on the rear wheel drive counterpart. But this is the last one. And you can see here, it's done ski. They'll finally not be hidden by the wheels. The red will pop. And here's everything in the back for my swap. Brake fluid, pads, all the mounting stuff, brake lines rotors and the calipers all wrapped up so here she is super happy cannot wait to do this new swamp all the fluid will be replaced and she will be looking a little bit more aggressive with these bigger brakes on it and it will finally match and I'm gonna get the, my center locks anodized again because they did fade over time so that's is that and i will be showing you the process when i get to the shop right now i got to do a couple things and then i will be heading out so see you guys in a bit so here we are at the shop we have the hood popped of course for the brake fluid when we do the drainage uh and here is here are the wheels off right here we already took off the clips and everything like that took off my adapters and spacers and um if you don't know how these center locks work it's basically that you use these put them in like just normal and then they amount up to here and you're good to go so it is the next day as you can see i'm going to be doing a video of what i did i was only able to get the fronts on the rears the rear calipers fit up i didn't get any of the videos putting on the fronts because we were working on it working on it and uh, we just had to do a little bit of shaving really wasn't that big of a difference like it was just a little bit of a shave to fit the bracket on i'll show you guys the fronts completed on the outside but the only reason why I wasn't able to put on the rears was because the rotors were too deep. So I got a 322, which, or 324 mil, uh, 324 millimeter uh, rotor, and it was by 22, so that goes by the depth on how far in it goes, and those did not work. And I read on all the forums and everything that that would work, so... I'm a little bit confused, maybe because it's on an LCI model instead of pre-LCI, but I really wouldn't know the difference of those. So with that being said, I will definitely show you guys the results, but the next rotors that I'm gonna be getting first, the first process that I need to do, I need to return everything that I have right now. So I'm gonna wait on that so I could get reimbursed for that and then get the rotors that I'm going for. I'm gonna get E60 528i rotors. It's out of a 2008. Uh, it's not the same uh, millimeter, uh, what would you say, of the rotor. It's a 320, but it's by 20. And that's what my stock ones are. They're 20, they fit up just fine. And the 320, we measured that the brake pads would fit perfectly on there because of the offset on how far it's gonna come far forward. So um, that's gonna be, it's gonna, another, it's gonna be another part video, but I'll show you what I have and let's get out there. So as you can see, I have the fronts on and they look beautiful. They fit just right. They look, they matched up exactly like what I said. 
I did remove the rear dust shield. I think I'm gonna put that back on and trim it a little bit because we didn't need to trim it. I just left it off for the time being, but it makes the wheel look bigger than it is and I don't really like that. So I think I'm gonna put that back on, but it's a personal preference. You don't really need to put it on. It doesn't really do anything. Like I said, it's just a brake dust shield. And it's just, instead of getting on the wheel solely, it's gonna get more on the suspension components, but it's okay. Um, I'm gonna definitely put that back on and this is gonna be another like week or two to get the rears because I need to return everything. But let me show you the rear and what I did. I started on the parking brake side. Um, as you can see, there is no dust shield. We cut all that off to see if I would, if I was still able to, uh, if we were able to still use it. It's the millimeter size. It wasn't the size of how big the rotor was. It was the size of how deep it went. And since it was a 22, and this is currently a 20, and I needed to stay with a 20 at least for pre-LCI. Again, I don't know for LCI, but. I need to repurchase the new dust shield for the back and then I'm gonna, like I said, get a 520. It's a four mil difference. It shouldn't be that big of a issue because when I mounted the actual rear piston or the rear brakes on it, it was already covering more than half. And that 20 millimeter will definitely, we measured it, the pad will fully seat properly onto the mill onto the rotor. So if I were you guys, I would definitely get, if you're pre-LCI, and you know, just to be safe, I would definitely get the 528i. I have the 135i rotors in the front, but um, get 528i's in the rear because they're 320 by 20. So it shouldn't be an issue. And of course I do have to return, let me show it to you. Do have to return those because they just did not fit. Those are the rear 135i uh, rotors. Everyone said that they would, but again, like I said, it was for uh, LCI models. And so I just need to return these. These are my factory ones that I need to um, return to FCP as well. And then of course, here are my rear brakes in here and um, the rest of the stuff that I need to finish the swap. So I did get the stainless steel brake lines on in the front, fit perfectly fine. They did match up and that is Hopefully that. you guys enjoyed this video. It did take me some time and I know I do apologize, but this has just been, it really hasn't been a nightmare because the fronts fit on fine, which the fronts are the ones that matter the most. Those are the ones that I wanted on there. My brake does feel a little bit spongy right now, but of course I need to be broken in. I did a full, you know, brake fluid change as well. So over time it will harden stuff and you just need to drive the car a lot. But um, hopefully um, I can get the rears on within the next two weeks. And that's the plan because I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do that. And then um, I'll get the rears on. Uh, and it was only, the only issue that I have was the rotor. That was my only problem. The brake calipers, they fit up perfectly fine. There was no issue with that. That's the main priority. And my main concern was that the brake calipers weren't gonna fit. My issue was just the rotors. So the rotors didn't fit. So I found the ones that are gonna fit my um, criteria and what I want and everything like that. I don't know, I may, like I said, I may put on the front dust shield again and trim it, but just depends on how big it is compared to the rotor because if it's just showing the same size as the rotor, then obviously it's not gonna change the look of the car for the brakes, but that's my only gripe right now. I'm not fully happy with it because I didn't get both front and rears on, only got the fronts on. And I'm like doing everything all at once. And then that's not my type of deal to do something half assed, like I think this was, but it really wasn't. It's just all in my mind. Everyone's been telling me that, but that's just the way how it goes when it comes to fitting something that wasn't, or fitting something that wasn't on your car, you're gonna run into issues. And this is why I'm trying to help you guys out if you're gonna do these brakes. And if you follow that, then it should be a simple install for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the content and stay safe out there.